Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is episode 18 of the Synet Instructor videos. This episode is on archiving, and uh, we're going to focus on archiving courses, but you can archive other content within Synet also, which I'll show you a little bit later. But um, archiving courses, if I go to my courses, and I have some star a bunch of starred courses here, but I can view all my courses, and I can look at my course list and see there's some older courses. I have some spring 2023 courses that I can archive. I also have some older 2019 content sample courses that I have in here as well that I can archive. And archive just cleans up your course list. It's a good idea to archive at least a couple times a year. Usually a best practice is or best practice is to usually archive oh, three weeks, a month into the semester. And you could go in and archive your old classes. Um, you could have an, an admin go through, if you're an admin, go through and archive all previous semester classes. And archiving just takes them out of the current class list. It doesn't get rid of them. It doesn't delete them. Instructors can always go back in and find their course in their archive courses and pull it back out to make it a current course. So let me show you how to archive archive courses. If you click the courses button on the left and click archive, it's going to take you to the archive area. Similar to how some other areas in SimNet are, the Sim books and the projects, um, the active courses are listed on the left hand side and the archive courses are listed on the right hand side. So what I could do here is first of all, I'm going to go through and find all of my spring uh, courses, 2023 courses here, and I'm going to select those. I'm going to hold down the, the control key to select non-adjacent items, and then I'm going to go through and, and get rid of all of our, not get rid of, but archive all of my 2019 demo courses that I've used in the past. So I'm going to get a few of those as well, and I think that's all of them. So I don't know, I have half a dozen or so courses there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on add here, the add button, but a little, couple of little warnings or best practice. Don't click the archive students button. OK, this will archive the students in those classes. doesn't get rid of the students out of the system, but it could create some issues for students if they're going to take another course or if they're currently enrolled in a course. So don't click the archive students button. Just just select the courses here and click add. And that's going to add them to my archive course. And now you'll see here my active course list is cleaned up a little bit. I don't have the older courses in there anymore. And um, and again, nice. It's a best practice just to clean things up so there's not too many you know old courses just cluttering up space in there. Um, if I wanted to unarchive a course, um, I could select any of these courses. I'll just select one randomly here and click on remove, and that would move it back to an active course. So that's archiving. It's a pretty simple process. You can archive other areas as well. If I click the content button, you'll see that I can archive lessons, I can archive exams, and I can archive sim paths. And you, and you want to kind of be careful about this. So um, you might do this in an instance when you're switching over from one version of Office to another. So let's say you're, you're uh, into the Microsoft 365 version 2021 right now and all the old 2019 stuff you're not using anymore. You're not using the, the uh, exams you've created or lessons or sim paths. You could go and archive those as well. So uh, be careful about that. You don't want to archive uh, things that people are currently using, but um, courses is the most important one to keep cleaned up. But there are instances where you do want to go in and clean up old lessons, exams, and sim paths. And the best way to do that is archive them rather than delete them. So this is archiving. Um, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.